Hello. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at another piece of property that will be lost uh, with another development that's coming to Riverhead, a Costco. And they've been allowed, to, they've been given granted permission to clear all these trees in the back here of this car dealership. And you can see there's a lot of beautiful pitch pines back there that will be gone. Now this development will be a Costco and the shops at Riverhead. And you can see the sign right there. And this will all be gone here. All these great shapes here are going to be gone. I've been granted permission to knock all this beauty down. And I'll link the article uh, for you all to see, read again. I did link in another video saying that they have permission to clear all these woods. Now, take note that there's already cleared land that they could build on. They don't need to be knocking down the woods. You can see we got evening primrose. Um, got heath asters, and there's sickle leaf also in here, but it's uh, done blue. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gone to seed, but uh, there's sickle leaf golden aster, which by the way is considered rare in New Jersey. I'm not sure about Long Island. We also have joint weed, which is another, so you've already seen quite a few pine barrens, wi wildflowers and stuff. And we're going to head on to the property, or we also have that uh, wine like golden rod again. It loves these dry, sandy areas to grow in. Let's head on to the property. So you take a note of all these beautiful pitch pines. As you can see, there is an entrance road here. And woods. But they're going to knock all these woods down. They've been, they've been given commission to knock all these woods down. Now these woods are a little older and more oak, mixed oak and pine versus the other property where they want to build the Super Walmart. But nonetheless, it is still an important piece of the Pine Barrens along Route 58. See, it's mostly oaks over here. That's looking east toward a mobile home development. They will lose their buffer. And that mobile home development's been there for a long time. See, this would be an entrance road. And in this empty area, they could build a Costco, and it's huge. They don't need to be clearing any land at all. But they've been given permission by the wonderful town of Riverhead to do exactly that. Now, as you can see, we have pitch pines. And this is the open area where they could, where I'm not opposed for them to build any, something here. See how large this space is? This could easily fit a Costco and probably a parking lot, too. They don't need to clear much of any woods. But, like I said, the wonderful town of Riverhead thinks it's okay that they clear this whole property. And that's the real shame. Look, like there's a little low-lying area. There could be a little pond in there. So, I want to show you this property because this will be gone soon. You can see the ever-present reindeer lichen. All the classic pine barrens plants you see here. Pitch pines, of course, a lot of young ones. Of course, I mean, I'm willing to compromise. They can build the Costco in the cleared area. But, of course, what I'd really like to see is this turned into a park with a playground, some, you know, people can enjoy. But they just want to turn 58 into a uh, Las Vegas of commercial development. Oh, pine flies. Well, now you know you're in the pine woods. Getting attacked by pine flies. Uh, yeah, see, there's a depression in there. There's probably a little water in there. See, but they, I'm not opposed to them building the building here in this cleared area. But leave the woods alone, you know? Take a look at all these great shapes over here. We're going to lose all these shapes, you know. There's a bunch of woods back there. That all this, they've been given permission, permission to clear all of this, every single tree. Can you imagine that? And then we got these guys here. All right, they're growing in the middle of the lot, which is remarkable. But that's why I'm saying, I'm just got to watch out for those little ones. They'll grow anywhere. We also got a lot of goldenrod poking up. I mean, this is slowly getting reclaimed by nature. And, you know, I mean, we have enough stores around here. It would be nice. But like I said, I'm willing to compromise. They can build it in the cleared area. And I guess these pines would have to go, but uh, preserve the woods around it, you know. Yeah. And, of course, the Pine Baron Society is, uh, once again, nowhere in sight when it comes to this issue either. I mean, look at those great shapes, huh? 
Some great shapes of what, I tell you. We're gonna lose this soon enough, so that's why I figured I'd come here and show it to you one more time. It's a nice little area, you know, let them leave. I mean, really, they should just leave it alone. And between you and me, who needs another store here? You know, between you and me. But like I said, it's not just a Costco they want to build. They want to build a whole bunch of shops around it, a whole new mall almost. And that's why all these woods here are going to get knocked down. You can see already they're getting to do something. You can see the stakes. All right, now we're going to be going onto this trail here. said all these woods will be gone every single tree every single tree will be bulldozed and destroyed now it was along this trail a couple of summers ago that I saw a pink lady slipper and in fact let me insert that into the video because it's not gonna be out now because it's October but uh, I'm going to insert that into the video so you can see that uh, this was the only pink slipper, lady slipper I ever saw, actually, ever. I saw it along the trail, right in this spot. So you'll see the picture next. All right, to our west is the property that's going to be uh, all torn down for Costco and shops at Riverhead. And this is out east family fun, which is off to our east. And we're heading on this trail, and we'll be coming out along Route 58, and I'll show you the frontage and all the great shapes there that are going to be gone. All right, now we're coming to an area of nothing but pitch pines over here. Unfortunately, there is quite a bit of trash here and dumping. Uh, that's the sad thing. Um, a lot of trash on the ground here. Shows you the kind of respect that people around here have for nature, uh, unfortunately. And then we got this cool-looking witch's broom that's low down like this. I've never seen one. I've never seen one that low down before. That looks like it's kind of dying, unfortunately. But uh, this is a witch's broom. It's like a growth on a pitch pine. Uh, but usually they're higher up in the tree. It's rare to see them low down like that. All right, let me show you all these great shapes now. All right, so as you can see, these, is all the, these are all the beautiful pines that are going to be... They've been given permission to level all of this. All of it. All right? It will all be gone. It's been approved. It's gone past the zoning board. Just waiting for the bulldozers to come. Unless you guys can get involved, or the Pine Barren Society can get involved, highly doubtful. Uh, this land is gone, just like the land across from Tanger. Now I'm doing the best I can, but without you, I can't save this. So, uh, you guys got to get on the, you know, call the towns, the D.C. Most of all, let the Pine Barren Society know. This, it's a, this, they keep saying how they're supposed to protect the Pine Barrens. Where are they? The Pine Barren Society talks a good game when it comes to protecting the environment. And I'll show you in a minute. They say developers don't even speak the same language as real people. And they're showing a view of Smithers Pond and Mill Neck. Is that in the Pine Barrens? No, it's not in the Pine Barrens. This is in the Pine Barrens. Where are they? Where's the picture in their thing to protect lands like this? And land like that across from Tango. Where is the Long Island Pine, Society, Pine Barrens Society? Where is Mr. Ramper? Where are the environmentalists? Those are the questions we need to be asking right now. Why aren't they here? Are the developers paying them off? Think about it. Until next time, folks.